With the playoffs under a week away from starting, it is now time to go over our second matchup in the Western Conference. Hey, it's Matt from Puck Rivals, and this video is going to go over the All-Canadian series between the Calgary Flames and the Winnipeg Jets. If you haven't seen our other matchup videos, the link to the playlist is in the description. I'm going to go over the team stats, each team's key player, as well as other potential difference makers in this series before finally revealing our prediction for who we think will win. Be sure to comment what team you think will come out on top between these two. And with that, let's get right into the video. This series features a Flames team with great skill in every area, and a group looking to bounce back after being upset in 5 games by the Avalanche last postseason. The Jets are a group that brings some elite firepower up front, and a Vesna nominated goaltender in the crease. This matchup will definitely be an exciting one for sure, and the fact that it is two Canadian teams only adds to the hype. Looking at the team stats, for starters, the head-to-head -head doesn't really give us anything. The Jets won 2-1 in overtime in the only game they played against each other. Not to mention, this is all the way back on October 26th, almost 10 months ago. So in the end, there really isn't much value to this stat. Now getting into the goals for and against, the Jets are the superior team in both categories, but not by very much. With the special teams are keeping on the trend of it being very close, with Calgary having a slight edge on the power play and a 5% advantage on the PK. If these team stats are any indicator, it's basically a lock for the series to go 5 games, and potentially multiple overtimes, unless one of these team's key players steal the series for them. The Jets do have some great talents on their team, but it was still an easy decision choosing Vesna nominated Connor Hellebuck as their key player in the series. Despite a significantly weaker blue line this year, Hellebuck had a standout season that saw him post a 9-2-2 save percentage and 6 shutouts over 58 games. If the Jets want to go on a run in the playoffs, it's going to be on this guy's back, and he's shown that he's more than capable of doing that. Over the past two seasons, he's gained 23 games of playoff experience, posting a 919 save percentage during that span. He's very effective in the playoffs, and the Jets need to hope that he can come out of this extended break just as zoned in as he was during the regular season. But Calgary, on the other hand, has a key player who will look to make sure that doesn't happen. We have our Flames key player as Johnny Goudreau because when he plays to the level that he can, he is their most dynamic playmaker on the team. But there are some question marks that the Flames need him to answer if they are going to be successful in this series. First one is, can he shake his playoff demons? Goudreau's last two playoff appearances weren't great. He put up just three assists over nine games, and most notably struggled to produce in last year's upset by the Avalanche, where he only put up one assist over those five games. To say he's been a disappointment for the Flames in the playoffs recently is a fair statement, and if they're going to beat the Jets and score on Hellebuck in this series, they're going to need their best playmaker to be rolling. On top of everything, Goudreau is coming off the worst season of his career that saw him put up 58 points over 70 games. This long break serves as a huge benefit for Johnny Hockey, a fresh start for him to turn the page on a terrible regular season and hopefully be able to come in hot and shake off those recent playoff demons as well. And the Flames sure hope that is the case. But it's not just Goudreau who needs to step up. His fellow line mates Sean Monaghan and Elias Lindholm also need to go back to the offensive threats they can be in the playoffs. You can't expect to win a series when a bottom six forward like Sam Bennett leads your team in scoring like in last year's playoffs. The three of those guys along with Matthew Kachuk and Norris winning defenseman Mark Giordano need to lead this team past the highly skilled Winnipeg Jets. Another interesting flame to watch will be Dave Riddich. Big Save Dave put up a very meh 907 save percentage over 48 games this year and is heading into the series with no playoff experience. Besides Goudreau, he might be the biggest wildcard in the series, and Calgary will need him to be sharp since they are facing a goalie on the other side who won't give them many easy goals to get comfortable leads with. Now on the Jets side, you have their elite forwards to watch out for. We're talking about Mark Scheifele, Blake Wheeler, Kyle Connor, Patrick Laine, and Nikolai Ehlers, all able to break open a game with their speed and skill. If there's a team that's going to make Riddich struggle in his first playoff games, it's these guys. D-man Neil Pionk performed very well in his first season with the team, by putting up 45 points in 71 games, and the Jets hope he can continue to generate that offense from the back end. The biggest heavy lifting on the point will come from Josh Morrissey, who will be responsible for shutting down the Flames' top players and making life a little easier for Hellebuck. Now looking at all the stats and the skill that these teams have, not to mention a Canadian battle, this is going to be a very close one. But our decision for who will win the series ended up being the Winnipeg Jets. And that's because we feel that the high-end skill they have up front overpowers Calgary, especially considering their recent playoff struggles. The biggest differentiator was in the crease, with Winnipeg having a major advantage with Hellebuck and Net, and being the only goalie of the two with playoff experience as well. 
Calgary does possess the better D group, but goaltending is such a huge difference maker and has the ability to completely change a series. Which is why we have the Jets taking this one and moving on to the first round against one of the top teams in the West. And that's it for this playoff matchup. Let us know in the comments who you think is going to win and if you agree with our pick. We've already covered 5 other play in series matchups, so if you haven't seen those, the link to the playlist is in the description. We will be uploading our other 2 play in predictions later on this week, so stay tuned for those. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you like hockey content because that's what we do on this channel. This is Matt from Puck Rivals and I'll see you guys next time.